This is a video about how to use the debugger board. This is what a debugger board looks like up close. And now you'll see I have one on the bench here. First of all, the debugger board needs power and ground. So we'll put a red wire for power. We always use red for power and a black wire for ground. We always use black for ground. And then we will connect these to a black lead here and a red lead here, which we can see. These leads go up so that the red is in the 5 volt supply, the black is in the ground. So again, those leads come down. To the debugger board. Now, the debugger board we change this a bit. We see the debugger board has four banks. One, two, three, four. Each of these banks has a set of dip switches, an L set of LEDs, a bar graph LED display, and a set of holes for pins. Right now, you'll notice that two of these banks have the LEDs lit up, and two of these banks are not. If you look down here at the bottom, you'll see there are these four switches here, and these two switches are in one position, these two switches are in the other position. The debugger board can operate in two different modes, display mode and control mode. In display mode, then a signal that comes in on the pins up here will be displayed on the LEDs. In control mode, then the signal that comes out of there will be determined by these, L these dip switches. And again, when you change the dip switches, that will also be shown on the LEDs. So let me show you. So here we go. In this case, as we set these dip switches, we can see that the bits show up on here corresponding to here. This is control mode. All right. As we switch these up and down, we see that what shows up there changes. This one, on the other hand, if you notice, as we change these, nothing changes. This one is in what we call display mode. All right. So now, suppose we connect a wire from this last pin here to this last pin here. Now, this one is in control mode. You notice this one has gone out. If we switch this, now this one has come on and so has this. Because this one in control mode is controlling this signal, which becomes this signal. So as we switch this back and forth, then we see this light goes on and off. They're both on, they're both off. All right. If we switch this one, again, since this is in display mode, not control mode, you'll notice that doesn't affect it. All right. Now, if we want, we can switch the modes of these around. So, if we switch this to display mode, now we notice that this one doesn't affect it, nor does this one. But now if we switch this one, to control mode, now what will happen is now we notice this one doesn't change it, but this one does. So now as we change this one back and forth, then that changes this, and now this is the signal that is being fed over here. Okay. If we want, we can hook up a second one. Now we see, you realize these banks go together. So we now have two bits of this bank that are being used. So again, we'll notice that these switches don't change anything. These don't matter because this one is in display mode. But now we have two switches, which we can control here 
in there. And this switch down here as before. And that's how the debugger board works.